And finally, in lesson five, we're going to look at the derivation of the standard results in a more general way than we did earlier. So earlier on um, in uh, this pack, I think, um, in lesson two, um, we looked at deriving um, from first principles the results for binomials, geometrics, and Poisson distributions uh, for specific values of parameters. So here we just generalize um, with um, the parameter left in. So we'll start off with the Poisson, and we'll look at the Poisson one to start off with. So uh, there's our Poisson probability formula. So our probability generating function is uh, that probability times t to the x, summation of So as we did earlier, we incorporate the t into the bracket with the lambda. We take out the factor of the constant term e to the minus lambda from the front of our summation. And then what we're left with when we start to sum that term by term uh, for a Poisson, remember, starting with x is 0 um, up to um, going up in integer steps, we end up with e to the minus lambda, the factor outside. The summation uh, is this one, which is the Maclaurin expansion of uh, e to the um, x, where x is equal to lambda t. So it's the um, Maclaurin expansion of e to the lambda t. So we substitute that result in and then simplify to get our standard result. So it's the same as we did earlier, um, but earlier we did it with a, a lambda value substituted in. Here we've just done it with the, in the general case um, with lambda left in. Okay, so you need to be able to derive that standard result for the probability generating function for a Poisson. For a geometric then, so again we start off with our probability generating function being our probability multiplied by uh, t to the y, we've used y instead of x this time for our geometric, um, and then, then we need to be a little bit careful with this next stage here. So we've taken out a factor of p, but we've also taken out a factor of t. The reason we've taken out a factor of t is so that the t now can be raised to the power of y minus 1 and not y, so it can be incorporated into uh, the bracket. And now if we look at expanding that summation, so substituting y is 1 into there, then y is 2 in, etc., uh, we get this uh, expansion uh, with pt still factorized out of the front. And this expansion here is a geometric progression with a common ratio of 1 minus p times t. And so using our sum to infinity formula for the bracket, we get a over 1 minus r multiplied by the pt. So we get pt over 1 minus 1 minus p times t, okay, or maybe pt over 1 minus qt, it might be written as. So that's the derivation of the general case for the probability generating function of a geometric. So again, these need to be learned. There are um, one or two fiddly little parts to the process in each one. So you just need to make sure that you can just reproduce each one and remember the steps. So in this case, it was just that um, part there, making sure you take out a factor of P and a factor of T so that uh, this T here um, can be incorporated into the bracket that's raised to the power of minus one. So we can then consider this part for the series expansion. So there's a little bit of detail to attend to, but you basically got to make sure that you can uh, reproduce these um, derivations.